All right, people, I'm sorry for the delay. I was waiting on the young lady, waiting on Candace. Uh, she was there. She witnessed everything. I was just waiting on her to uh, get ready. You know, I wasn't there. So how everybody doing? I'm waiting on y'all to come in. Sorry about being late. Remember, this video is not to uh, condemn. This video is to find out the facts. I have not made a public opinion to what I think it is, what happened and all that. Uh, I want to say to the manager that was involved in the incident, I'm not after your job, nor do I want to see you fired. Uh, for the young man that got that, that you was fighting, I uh, wish the best for him. Uh, I'm not here to stir up nothing, but I'm just here for the truth. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm just, that's all I'm here for. Y'all already know I got clout already. I got views already. So it ain't about that. I do a lot of great work in the community. And this is not about to make nobody look bad. I'm quite sure that manager, he has a family. The other the other guy, he has a family and things like that. Things just got out of hand. And I just want to um, let y'all know what really happened before the video. There's some things that took place inside of that McDonald's that was not on the video. But let me say something about that particular McDonald's, what I do know about that McDonald's. That particular McDonald's right there, they you, you have a lot of acts going at McDonald's. They be in there using drugs, selling loose cigarettes. So the environment in that particular McDonald's is not great at all, you know. Normally they have a security guard, but I've been told uh, when this particular manager works, he normally, you know, he can handle situations. He don't really need a security guard. Everybody respects him. And normally when he asks people to leave, they leave, you know. So he's been with the company for years. So I'm not saying nothing bad about the manager at all, you know, because who knows? If I was in that position, I don't know what I probably would have done myself. So uh, not justifying, not taking up for nobody's side, but this video is not to get the young man fired. This video is not to make the person that got beat up look bad. It's not none of that. We're going to bring a Miss Candace Watson on here. She's going to, she's the one that did the video and she's going to tell us what she observed. That's all we want to know the facts. Now, if you have not seen the video, it's two videos. You can go to my page or Candace Watson page and it's there. You can look at both of them. Hey, hey y'all, how y'all doing? And so that's what we want to do. Uh, I'm just waiting on uh, Miss Candace Watson to come in. And that particular McDonald's is, I, I mean, I remember probably maybe two or three years ago, and I've seen this on Facebook. It was a young man that walked in that McDonald's butt naked. And I think that was on 79th and King Drive. And a lot of teenagers beat him up in there. And the police came in and arrest uh, the guy that came in there like, hey, how you doing? Mimi, I see you. Uh, so that's what I'm saying, people. Somebody said, well, he got a lawsuit. Yeah, he probably do have a lawsuit. More likely, he do have a lawsuit. But I'm, I'm here just to bring out the facts. That's all I want to bring out the facts. Yeah, yeah. And now, and somebody, somebody, uh, Renee Johnson, you said you remember that, that. Yes, it was. It was that McDonald's on 79th and King Drive. A young man walked in that thing. And uh, I want to see it on your page. Okay. It was a young man walked inside there. What's going on? Uh, and, and he was, he was butt naked and them teenagers beat him up. He beat him up. They beat him up. And, but the police wind up taking him to crazy. So I don't know if he had some bad drugs or it was some mental illness. It was something going on, but getting back to this McDonald's to the family of the manager, uh, to the family of the victim that got beat up. I mean, y'all mental illness is in our community. And a lot of you guys say, well, he should have did this. It's easy for us to say what he should have done, the manager, if you're not put in that situation. You know, so I don't want to tell the whole story. I'm waiting on Candace to come on here so she can tell us what's going on. I mean, I, man, I, I want us to tell her. And, you know, everybody out there got their opinion. What's going on? You know, I see you, Robert. I see you here, Pastor Sanders. I see you. Mr. Grady, I see you. I see you. So I'm waiting on Candace to come on in. We're going to talk about this, people. And... I might take maybe one person after Candace. I'm not sure. Depend on how I feel. You know, depend on how I feel, how the, how the mood go. You know, I don't know. Okay, I see. Uh, waiting on Candace Watson. She's not here yet. When you, Candace, when you get on here, just say, I'm here. 
That's all I want. I'm waiting. I'm, listen, I don't want to tell a story. But in this McDonald's, I can't say. They selling loose squares out of there. They're getting high in there, rolling up blunts and all that. It's not a good environment in that McDonald's anyway. You know, and I'm not saying it should be closed out. No, I'm not saying that. They need security guard, security in that place. They need security in that place. Yeah, for real. So Candace, she's going to tell the story what she witnessed with her own eyes. I wasn't there. We need to know what happened, all the details. Everybody making judgments and stuff like this. But what I can tell you was factual is uh, we do know that it was a fight. We seen the fight. We, 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 we seen the video where he invited the manager to come from behind the counter. That we do know. Um, we do know that it, that was an altercation. Uh, so I, I can't tell everything. I want Candace to tell it. Hurry up, Candace. Hurry up. We waiting on you so we can get this out. I want Candace to tell it. I'm just telling y'all everything, but that's the scoop. And, and I, what I can tell you a little bit about the manager. He's been with the company for a long time. So I've, I've never heard anything negative about the manager. So I've heard from his relatives and from people that know him, he's a well-mannered guy. You know, he's a family man. So uh, that I do know, you know. So I don't want, you know, this video is to, uh, you know, to keep this down. Yeah, the video is sad. It is sad. And when, when tempers flare up and egos flare up, this is what happened. And like y'all always tell y'all, some of the situations that we get ourselves in, uh, uh, it, you know, we, we can talk it out of it, you know. So I'm not taking up for nobody, and I, and I don't want nobody to lose their job, and it's, it's very sad. It's embarrassment. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people want to talk, and, you know, so, and I don't think that man was a senior. Let's get that clear, too. I don't think he was a senior in age, so let's get that clear. Everybody said, that's an old man. But he wasn't that old, you know, so he wasn't no, he, he wasn't no senior. I'm waiting too. Hey, Miss Johnson, I see you. Long time, long time, Miss Johnson. I see you. Long time. Uh, so uh, I'm waiting on, come on, Candace, we waiting on you. We waiting on you. Somebody call Candace Watson, tell her, come on, get on this live. Inbox her, tell her, come on. Oh, somebody said they sell drugs, and I heard that too. In that particular McDonald's. So you got to know what you're dealing with in that type of an environment right there. Enough is enough, you know. So um, I'm, I think I'm a well-minded person. And I can be provoked. Any of us can be provoked. You know, we're human. Somebody said, I wish the manager would have not taken that bait. I agree. I wish he wouldn't have. But hey, is it? Okay. I see, I see my man here too. I see you here. Now I want you to come on. Now if you want to come on, that's on you, bro. You say, I'm here. I see you. I see the manager on here too. That's, you know, hey, if you want to come on, we can come on and talk about it. But, you know, I don't know if the man is going to do something legal and I don't want you to say nothing to incriminate yourself. But if you want to come on here, it's okay. I'll give you the green light. But I don't want you to think I'm setting you up to say something, you know, because I want the truth. And I, I heard you wasn't a bad person and we all make mistakes. Somebody said he's an elder to him. Yeah, yeah, he's an elder to him. But I thought he was an old man. Everybody would tell me he was an old man, you know. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's sad on both situations, you know. And I hope, I wish it would have never happened, avoided. And that's why when I posted the video, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not say, uh, look at this, y'all. I wanted y'all to see. I wanted to get in contact with the parties that was involved so we could have a peaceful resolution to this. Now, I can't tell a young man if he want, if the guy want to sue, that's on him, you know. Uh, but my thing is, I just want to make sure everything is uh, cool. What's up? What's up, Ira? I see you. I see you, brother. Doing great work in the community. And uh, Rita, you said I'm very familiar with that McDonald's. It's not right. Okay, you guys. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. You got to remember, put yourself in the manager's mind. He's working in a hostile environment anyway. Anyway. Somebody said, don't make you look old. Now, I ain't no here to judge nobody. So if he on drugs, that's his business. You know, I, I ain't here to, hey, I'm not here to judge nobody. I see my niece on here. Hey, Tracy Brown, I see you. I love you, sister. I love you. That's my little niece. Uh, where you at? Where you at, Candace Watson? Where you at? I'm waiting on you. Somebody said, we have a McDonald's like that here in Buffalo, too. Drugs, prostitution, all kind of stuff. Wow. 
Yeah, and Rita, you're right. We do pay for our mistakes. Oh, I see Candace. Oh, my God, I see you. Candace, I see you. I see you. I see you. I'm adding you on. I want you to tell your story. Don't be intimidated. Tell exactly what you're saying. That's what you know. That's all we need to know. You know, we're not going to crucify you. I'm not going to let them crucify you on this line. There you go, Candace. Go ahead. Hey, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> hey, by the way, I ain't no creep. I came in your box. I'm sorry. I <laughs> myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Go ahead. What you want to know? I, tell us what you saw. I mean, what you observed when you were in there. That's all you tell us. I, I, I mean, I thought this was like a real interview. I thought you was going to ask me a question, and then i tell you, and then, okay, you know. Okay, well, I'll ask you a question. I'm going to ask you a question. I, okay, ask you a question. Ask me. We'll do this. Okay. Okay. Uh, what made you start interviewing? What made, what made you pull your phone and stop him? Something I should have did like everybody else pulling out your phone because you see some action, something exciting, something you want somebody else to see. Right. Did um, you think it was a fight. Shit. I, I pulled out my phone because I saw a fight. Okay. A fight. Basically. Oh. Okay, let me ask you another question. Uh, in your opinion, how old you think this guy that was doing all the talking, how old you think he was? He is, uh, you know. Maybe Early 40s, mid 40s, okay. 40, Did old he... enough to get whooped. Okay, all right. I, I, I got this. Let me say this to you. Did he seem, did, did he appear to be uh, intoxicated or look like he was, you know, on some types of substance or abuse or something to you? In your honestly, opinion, I'm at, yeah. Honestly, no. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm not talking about the manager, I'm talking about. The, the the guy that got beat up. That's what I'm talking about. I understand. About. No, he didn't okay. seem intoxicated or under the influence of nothing. Oh, but okay. he was causing a disturbance in the store, and the manager was kind of fed up with him and the rest of the two lab crew that was up in there with him. So he wanted them out. Okay. So the guy came back, and it was like, well, I want to order some coffee. And he was like, no, y'all are done. Y'all got to leave. Manager, the store probably haven't been open maybe three hours, and they already been up in there the whole three hours just lollygagging doing something probably illegal, something they ain't supposed to been doing, and the manager had enough of it. Wow. Okay. Okay. And can you, I want to, uh, so do you frequently visit that McDonald's? Yeah. Okay. Now, in your honest opinion, do you, do you have you ever had any words with that manager? Any bad vibes? Of, just tell me, tell me something about, you know, his, you know, his appearance. And, no. You know, no. Okay. It's like, He's a huge teddy bear, like the okay. nicest person in the world. Anybody coming in there, he's joking with them. If anybody mad, upset, he's going to make them laugh at the end of the day. He's going to give them what they want, probably something extra, and they're going to leave out smiling. Every time he see me, he'd be like, I'm glad you got your hair done today. I'd be like, okay, whatever. Give me my food. No, he's really nice, though. He's a real cool dude. And I, I've been hearing a lot of positive things about him. And, and I want to, if he's listening, I know he's on here. I want to let you know, I don't know your name, and I'm not going to say your name. Uh, I heard a lot of positive things about this is not to make you look bad and get your job bad. We just want to get the facts out, what really happened before she started videoing. I, I want you know, by you was there, you could just tell. Now, uh, to, in your opinion, in your opinion, from your observation, uh, this particular guy, uh, I've seen video, well, I've seen another video. And this guy mm -hmm. invited the manager to come from behind the counter. Mm -hmm. Did you see that video? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I felt like that was kind of provoking. But on a on another note, on a professionalism, uh, you know, customers in, in business, they say customers are always right, but we know that's not true. But the reason why businesses say that is because without the customers patronizing the business, the business can't stay in business. Right. right. So um and I know that that McDonald's, tell me a little bit about the McDonald's. What's going on in that McDonald's? Yeah, that's what I want to know. <sighs> Just be honest with me. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of ruckus, a lot of disturbances, a lot of people in there that should not be in there. Um, It's a lot of people up in there that that casually come in there just to sit down and just have coffee. You know, the old guys that come and sit with their friends right. and meet up, they do that too. But... Well, it's a well, lot of I, stuff that go on that should not be going on. 
And they did have security at one point in time, but I don't know what happened to them. Right. Well, can I go in there and buy me a loose cigarette? <laughs> Definitely can. Oh, wow. So, you know, that's a no-no. So, so actually, would you... Uh, what would you say? Would you recommend that McDonald's is it, it needed security, right? You, 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 they need security in there, right? They definitely. They had security. security. I don't know what happened. They used to come in. They sit for a nice minute of time. You can't come in there without no outside food. You can't come in there and just sit without ordering anything. And if you did, they was on it. Like they would come and talk to you. They wouldn't be real loud with you. They'll just let you know, like, hey, you need to buy something, or you can't sit in here like that. You know, real calmly, because. It happens to me a, a couple of times. I just went in there to sit down and wait for, you know, to start my, my job again. Right, right. Okay, now let's get back to this fight up in there, this fight, Tucker Payson. I mean, when that fight broke out, I mean, what was you thinking? What was you thinking in your mind? Like, you do you do you feel he deserved that? I mean, be honest with you, you know, was it too much? It went too far. And I know you don't want to make the manager look bad, and it's not to make him look bad. You don't have to ask. It's not to make the manager look bad. Right is right and wrong is wrong at right. the end of the day. Right. So, I'll, yes, it did go a little farther than what it had to, but I feel like the manager at the end of the day was defending himself. Right. 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 I understand that. I understand that. Because I'm hearing, I'm hearing that what you did with is I'm hearing that he did spit, you know, he did spit at mm -hmm. the manager. So, Mm -hmm. And whether you hit him or not, I'm, you know, mm -hmm. I did hit that. And and I'm gonna tell you like this, and I think I'm a pretty well mannered person. If you spit at me, I probably I don't know what I'll do. Depend on what situation I'm in. I'm just, I'm just telling mm -hmm. you. That's right. All. So and I'm not taking up for the manager nothing like that. And that it, it, it seemed like this, y'all. Y'all read between the lines. That young man wrote a check that his so and so couldn't cash, though. You know, when he invited that manager out from behind that desk, that was the wrong thing to do. You know, and right. personally, that was the wrong thing to do. And I think as um, the young man has been a manager, he shouldn't have uh, engaged with the customer. You know, he shouldn't have engaged with the customer. I, I, I'll go on live and say that, you know. But if I was in this situation, I probably would have did the same thing or even worse. Not saying that it's right now. Not saying that it's right. <laughs> and I heard a lot of great things about the manager. He's a good person. And I don't want him to lose his job. I don't feel that he should lose his job. I Maybe don't want him to lose job either. Right. Maybe transfer and everything. But that guy that got beat up in there, he got a lawsuit. I mean, he could sue that company. He could mm -hmm. uh, literally sue that company. You know, he could literally sue that company. Yeah, because of... I mean, yeah. He can. He can. But I don't know. I just feel like he was defending himself. I never actually saw him Spit. I never right. saw the spit, so I right. asked him what happened. Like, why did right. you come out like that? He was like, right. he he threw some spit at me. He was like, before right. he hit it, hit me, I ran out the door. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Get out. Doing your mama duty. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he said before it could touch him, he was already out the door in the front of the man's face, and he said the man hit him first. So right, he was defending himself. Right. And we did we we did hear on the video that uh the guy was provoking the manager. We did hear that, you know. Mm -hmm. When you work in the public, you have to restrain yourself. You know, even uh, like I do a lot of protests and you know, and sometimes the police, you know, I hear people cussing out the police, it's calling them their mama and all that. The police they human, it's only so much they can take. But that's what they True. get paid for, you know. They right. get paid for to stand there and take that abuse, you know. Um uh, right. It's live. So what? Uh, me, uh, I'm just hoping he don't get fired. To my knowledge, I don't think he's terminated or nothing like that. I'm just hoping maybe a suspension, a transfer, or something. But it's something going on. Mm -hmm. But I don't want. Uh, I don't. I don't think like I believe he was defending himself too. Y'all excuse me. Cause somebody spit at me. Oh my God! I don't know what I do. You know, but. That's a certain professionalism we have to carry as being a manager in management, working in these public places and things like that. And I think it went a little too right. far, you know, but uh, it is. And, and it the is. guy did try to fight him back. He grabbed his legs and all that. So, man, I'm just glad it's over. But I did hear, <laughs> not from you, I heard from another source, a reliable source said that 
that that guy left out the store, then came back in and started talking. And that's what I did. He did. That's what I heard. Right. He did that. So after the first confrontation, I went and got my food, and I sat down at the table to eat. He followed behind me and left out the door. But I don't know. I never seen him come back in. But okay. as I looked up, him and the manager was face to face. Wow. And the brawl broke out. Right. Okay. Let me just, for those just tuned in, I seen somebody say something. Those just tuned in. What we're trying to do, find out exactly what happened at McDonald's. A, a, a fight broke out at McDonald's between a manager and a potential customer. But uh, it's two videos surfing. It's one video uh, showing uh, the, the man threatening the manager. Tell him to come behind that and cussing, swearing at him. And then it's another video showing the actual fighting. So what we're trying to find out what led into uh, this. So I'm hearing that that the customer spit at the manager, and, right. and it it went on from now. Right. You know, but now, I never saw the spit, but that's okay. what he told me. Right. That's what I think I was told that too. And it, it's because I I just can't see the manager covering behind the counter just doing you know just out of words so it had to be something provoking you know but i wasn't there so i can't it's just, just my opinion so i'm not here to uh make nobody look bad make nobody lose their job and nothing like that like i said i'm gonna go on record i don't feel that the manager should lose his job maybe a suspension and transfer to another store or something you know train classes i i, I want to see another brother lose no job i'm quite sure he got a family he got to take care of children things like that but it did to me went too far and, uh, and it does need to be addressed. It does appropriately right. behind closed doors and, and, a, and a public apology, maybe from McDonald's, should be given, you know, to that, you know, to the Chatham neighborhood and things like that. So because, I mean, it's a lot of activity going on. And did I tell you, I don't know if you was on here, maybe two or three years ago, it was a young man that came in there butt naked. And that McDonald's on 79th and King Drive. No, then, I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> I know you don't know nothing about it. I'm just telling you. I've seen this on Facebook. And oh, okay. a lot of teenagers was beating them up up in there, you know, for coming in there naked. It was it was during school hours or after school, and the police came in there and arrested that guy. Maybe it was some mental issues and things like that. Mm -mm. So. Yeah. I mean, every action has a reaction. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Right. At the end right. of the day. Right. So, so you know. I mean... Okay, let me ask you one more question. Would that stop you from going in that McDonald's since this incident? Yes or uh, no? Only if they say I can't come in, but if okay. I can't come in, <laughs> I'm going in there to sit down and have my coffee in the morning. Okay. On Sunday. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's what I'm talking about. And I want to say if the, if the owner is listening to this uh, live, this is not to make your business look bad or go down on your business. I'm not trying to do that. It's just some things that you need to fix. We appreciate McDonald's being in the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We need more black-owned businesses in the neighborhood. So we don't want you to leave the neighborhood, and we don't want you to fire that manager. Maybe transfer him to another store. That's just me talking. But right. uh, we would like a public apology or things like that, ensure the safety of the customers that's coming in there and make it a, a, a safe environment where customers can come in there and patronize the businesses and things like right. that. And make sure you have security in there. That's all I'm asking for. Just and, a little bit. You know, right, you know, right. Burger King is right across the street. They got a security guard sitting there all day long. Right. They don't play that. So maybe right. that's that's what needs to happen at McDonald's. Right, right. You know, and maybe that, that may be one of the things to, to help the issue. So that's all I'm saying. And uh and brother, if you brother manager, if you listen to this. Hey, I'm I'm sorry to happen. I'm sorry that you you know let yourself go that far. And if the gentleman that this happened to that got beat up, smacked around, knocked down, whatever, I'm sorry to happen to you. And I'm hoping that you guys can work it out. If you take a legal against this business, that's on you. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not you know I can't tell you what to do. But I hope, I mean I hope y'all can work it out and things like that. So hey, it is what it is, and that's what it is. So I mean it, it's it's going crazy because. And black business, we have a hard time with each other. I mean, we we hold each other, we hold black business to the, I mean, we hold them to the floor for everything. We Man. Don't, we do. Yeah, you're right. We do. Because we want to support one another. But at the end of the day, it's hard to support when you can't go and have a nice coffee and see somebody fighting, getting beat up bad because right. they want to come and spit on somebody. That's not cool. 
Right, right. That's not cool, people. That's not cool. And for your for y'all people up there that said uh he the manager's wrong, he was defending himself, he may have been wrong. But I'm gonna just say this. If somebody spit at you, you don't know what you would do. I only know what I'd do. And right. I know I'm nonviolent. I can be violent, but I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> He say he blacked out. You don't know what you'll do when you black out. It's you, black. Right. You, you, you don't see don't, nothing. Right. So uh, I appreciate every last one. I appreciate you coming on here. Now you're going to be famous. Now you don't know what the crowd uh -huh. takes. So. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> to my crew. Shout out to Cover Diane. Shout out to all my cousins, Chanel, Wu, Brittany, Mahogany. I love all y'all. Shout out to my son, Terrence, and my mama and my daddy. <laughs> all right. And let me say this. Y'all don't go in the inbox now because she, she got a lot of creeps. I went in the inbox and said, what you want with me? I was like, who is this? My friend was like, no, no, call him. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I should have introduced myself. I'm sorry. But I was just so, I had to get to somebody that was in McDonald's so I could find out what happened. That's all. That's it. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to maybe bring one other person on here. They weren't there. Maybe somebody make a comment because some people, you know, they barbecued the manager. You know, then some people crucified the guy. The victim got beat up. So right. I say they both was wrong. I say both was wrong. And I understand both of them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the, the victim, he had a bad day. And I don't know what was up with him. And the man was like, man, I can't take this. Man, you just spit at me. You done went too far. I, Look, man, Mr. I, Johnson, I say everybody is entitled to their own opinion. These people have been arguing all day under this status. I can't say he was wrong, and I can't say he was right. Right. But wrong is wrong, and right is right. Period. Right. At the end of the day. Right. You know. What I'm so. Saying? Oh yeah, you you right. At the end of the day, it's, it's a lot of hearsay. Helen said it's a lot of hearsay at this point, and you're right. Yeah, Helen, yeah it is. Yeah. Because it's just yeah. one video, and that's all they see is. Right. Him being beat. So. Right. Right. But then it's not his know, fault he couldn't fight and back up what he was saying. Right. He. <laughs> the he, phone, he, he was he, telling him to come around the counter. Yeah, he, he did. He wrote a check that is behind the <laughs> cash, though, you know. I'm sorry, you know. Hey, you know, I, I don't victimize no victim or nothing like that, but he, he got a butt whooping, though. He got a butt whooping, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I bet he's going to come back in there again talking stuff like that to nobody else. Yeah. So. Yeah. Somebody said, do we really know if he spit? Well, Helen, let me just say this. Uh, I've talked to a reliable source that was there. And I heard that he did spit at the match. It didn't hit him. It landed on the counter. So that's what I heard on a reliable source. I'm just letting you know. So, you know, I just, that's that, you know. And okay. That's, I didn't see the spit. Right. Just so y'all know. I didn't see okay. it. Okay. But I'm just saying uh, from a reliable source, I heard right. that was there said that. You know what I'm saying? And McDonald's got cameras. I'm quite sure they got cameras. It been, it been yeah. through all that. So, yeah. So. Cool. All right. Uh, I thank you so much. We're in this interview. Uh, y'all say the comments. You know. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Somebody said McDonald's got to write a check too. Laugh out loud, and he will be checking that one. Yeah, he probably will be. You know. <laughs> hey, they got insurance to cover stuff like that. Lawsuit didn't True. touch him. Yeah. yeah. McDonald's a billion dollar company. Yeah. Be right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And y'all, you know what? I don't advocate spitting. Spitting is a nasty, disgusting thing. I don't care if it didn't land on a man. That's nasty. That's the worst thing you could do to somebody. Any bodily fluids going on somebody else, that's not cool. Right. Right. So. Okay. Well, well it was nice me... talking to you, Mr. Johnson. Right, Keep in nice touch and to don't delete me, okay? I won't delete you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Peace, I okay. Got you. You, you got a shout out to anybody else you want to shout out to? Uh, let me think. No, shout it out to all my Cover Thy Ass peoples. Um, my cousins, you... my family, my okay. aunties, my uncles. Okay. I love all y'all. I love everybody. And I want to thank you for coming on and being patient with me. I, I gave you enough time. Thank you so much. I appreciate your, your opinion and everything because you was there. And I also mm -hmm. did talk to another person that was inside there, but they're not, they're not going to come on live, but I talked to a reliable source. So right. trust me, it was a reliable source. So I appreciate you. I promise you, I ain't going to delete you. Just follow me. I'm on Instagram too. I'm on uh I'm on uh YouTube as well. Twitter. So okay. Martin G. Johnson. I'm the crown. Okay. Case. You'll follow All me right. anywhere. All right, peace okay. out. You can check All out. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. All right. All right, people. I, I appreciate y'all. So
like y'all said, at the end of the day, somebody said, we still don't know what happened. Everything is hearsay. You're right. You got to hear the cameras and all that. Yeah. So I thank y'all so much. Uh, spitting on someone is an assault. That's definitely is an assault on all that. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, Rita, did you want to say something? I'll bring you in real quick. I, I'll give you about two or three minutes. Say, I'm here. Rita, where are you? I'm here. If you hear Rita, I, I, I'll bring you in for two. Okay. All right. I'll bring you on. Two, three minutes now, Rita. Don't go off on me, you know. Say what you want. This is a man. Okay. Bring her on. All right. Take a man. Rita, she lives in the area. She's from Chatham. She's living in the area. Okay, sister. Hey, Martin, what's going on? All right, go ahead, sister. Okay, so now I'm going to just stick to the facts. Okay, stick with the facts. We got two videos. Right. We got the video from the, the first one when they was having a conversation, and then we got the second one when he's actually getting beat up. So now this is my problem with the whole situation. I'm very familiar with that. I mean, I'm in that McDonald probably four times out the week okay. myself. It is a lot of people that's from the neighborhood that go in there and they have coffee, they sit around there or whatever. We all know that. Um, now, I noticed because I do, I go to that McDonald's and I go to the gas station. You know, it's some older middle-aged guys, you know, some of them look like they might drink or something. Right. I don't, you know, I don't know. I'll be seeing them, but my thing is this. I was in there, I want to say a few days back. And it was an older guy in there, and I can't remember exactly what happened, but he was talking to somebody, and they did. They asked him to leave out. So I could probably believe that it's probably some that be in there hanging around. They might be been in drink, and they might be causing some type of commotion. Right. I, I, I might can say that for that. But I, this is my thing. First of all, there's a protocol for everything. Yes, I'm very see. This is my question: How did it go from the so behind the counter means you got to come from behind the counter out a door mm -hmm. and walk to the other side of the McDonald's to engage with this man? Yeah. So now I'm gonna stick with the facts because I didn't see him spit, and I just heard somebody else say he she he she didn't see him spit. Now you say you say you have a reliable source that say he did spit. Yeah, but but until I see that right, footage, right. Until I could see that footage, even even still with that ass, man, because if we allow this, Martin, the police is allowed to kick our motherfucking asses. The Asians is allowed to kick our motherfucking asses because, see, other people only treat us how they see we treat ourselves. Yes. Period. There is a way management is supposed to act at all times yes, when you're in that uniform. Yes, he was in a McDonald's uniform. Yes, he was. So even if he spit and he hit that counter, he was supposed to, since they can't either A, afford security, or for some reason they don't have it there, because even with security, they're not allowed to kick that man's ass the way that motherfucking manager just did that. Yeah. That was unacceptable, yeah, and I, period. I, I don't care what the circumstances are. It's the way you handle things, right. and that's what I'm mad about. But see, Martin, this is what I've been talking about all week. These type of things happens in our community all the time, and we overlook it. Right. And that young girl, I'm, I'm not speaking bad upon her, but it just goes to show you really how we think as the people. We can't laugh about certain situations. Now, what if he got to kill that man? Yeah. Then what? He put his arm in his back. If he's too big. He should have. He don't have the mind stability to say, "Man, I'm a bigger guy. I already know I go." He's a punk too. Yeah. You know why? Because he didn't have sense enough in his brain to say, I can whoop this man. But he had to show it because old dude probably got to him with his mouth. Yeah, let me say and something. that's a weakness. Let me say something. Let me say something now. Uh, let's be careful calling people out punks and all that. You know okay. Well, like, yeah. I, 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 I'm not meaning to say it to, but right. I'm just saying that right. was uh, uh, his yeah. actions. Right. He should have thought about that before he yeah. acted on. And then I'm gonna say again, you came behind a, you came from around the corner, out the door, and I could have seen if that fight happened right there at that counter. I don't know what happened between the counter and them going all the way to the other side of the McDonald's. Right. How did that happen? Something in the middle is missing. Mm -hmm. So now, even if he spit on him, he is as a manager, he is supposed to conduct himself in a certain manner. Manner. We can't go boycott the Asian nail line for them beating up our black girls, right. but then the, the the black man in the McDonald's can beat up someone that's older than him, right. someone that he knows he can beat up. Yeah. That's right. Well, I understand that. Let me say this in his defense, since he ain't he's not on here speaking. I'll say this. Uh that's what you call the ego with men. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm assuming, I'm playing devil's advocates if I can say that. We okay. have egos, though. You know what I'm saying? We have egos. And we, we quit to fight each other. I'm just speaking as a man. We are. We quit to fight each other. And if that brother spit at him, which I believe, I don't believe he hit him, spit at him, he just lost it. You know, with all the commotion, he lost. He was out of control. Mm -hmm. And I said that man was out of control. He was dead. So what do we say when what, what so what do we say when our kids get on our nerve and we lose it and, and, right. and we, we hit them right. in a way we shouldn't? Right. What I mean, we can say that, but we can say that we can say that, but you you have to be responsible for your actions, Dar. Right. I'm not Period. Saying. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't meet. Maybe he did black out. Right. But he's gonna have to pay for that blackout. Of course. I mean, and okay. McDonald's me, would too. Let me say this. Let me say this in his defense too. And I'm not taking up for the brother. I'll say this. Uh, you don't know what you would do if somebody spit at you. It depends on what. Well, I ain't gonna lie. If somebody spit on me, I'm I'm gonna be ready to fight. But I know this. I own the beauty shop. Right. And on 75th, I have people to testify to this. I I had a tattoo artist that was working in my shop, and when I, when he left, that nigga spit on me. But I didn't fight him. I did what I was supposed to, and I was make a report on him. Yeah. See, there's a way you act in management. Right. There's one thing when a nigga spit on you on the street. That's one thing. If that had been two guys in McDonald's just fighting because a nigga spit on, that's one thing. But when you wearing that uniform, there's a way you act. Simple as that. And he was supposed to do protocol, and that was called police. He should have actually, before it even escalated, when when he they was in there for two, three hours, as the girl said, he should have been asked them to leave. And if they didn't leave, did protocol and had the police right. come remove well, them. It's simple. Okay. And I it's, but see, we not being taught this. Right. In our communities, we treat each other any old kind of way. He's not allowed to lose his temper like that on, on the clock. You have to control that. Yeah, well, that's a control. You you have to, baby. You have to learn, and that's in business. And we have to stand because if that was a, if that was a, any other nationality did that, we would be on it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. Whether I'm no it, matter what color you are. Let me say that. Oh uh, no, but Martin, I love you because you be on the right stuff. Right. Yeah, I be people you know. And my thing is, I said publicly, I said McDonald's old the Chatham neighborhood apology. For what happened in that. I said that publicly though. And I said publicly, I didn't want that brother to lose his job. Maybe suspension and transferred to another. That's what I said. You know, maybe. You know, I'ma tell you this too. Yeah. I got somebody real close to me. Uh son worked there recently. Right. Okay. So I know about them people. Not only do I shop in there, not only have I had my own issues and problems with them myself with orders and certain things and coming inside of there, but I you know, I know it's black owned and sometimes, you know, we we act some type of way because right. we own something. Right. And it, it don't be fair to the consumer right. well, the, because it's still a business. And the purpose of this video is to for uh, Miss Watson to tell us what she's seen with her own eyes. And I did talk to somebody that was in that happened. It was a reliable source. Now, the source told me he didn't spit on the map, but he spit at the manager and it landed on the counter. And that's how, you know, that that's what I heard. The reliable story. He should have called the police right. and the made a report, and that man would have been called. banned from that store. Yes. The police was called, and also that guy he left in the right. ambulance. See, y'all don't know that though. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all only basing everything what y'all see. That's why I was holding my peace because I want to know what happened. And I'm saying, well, I'm just voicing mine on what I saw in the videos right. and how no management. The, right. There is a there. See. It's all, once again, if it had been two men just fighting in there, that's one thing. But when you're in a uniform, you can't act, you, that's just like saying the police can shoot Laquan McDonald 16 times and get right. away with it. But, no, know. just because you're in that uniform don't get you the right to murder somebody. So no, he's in a uniform. That don't give him the right to take the law into his own hands. That's he's true. supposed to act accordingly. But do, don't there's think, a There's don't a way, you, it's not about it's how you do things. Right. Don't you think he was defending himself? Is that guy's I don't, you know, no, you know why? Because I'm going to say again, the way that setup is at McDonald's, he was behind the counter. Okay. The spit didn't actually touch him because it landed on the thing. Let's just say he did spit. Okay. So now, you was protected. It had been different. He jumped over the counter or he, you know, no, he, at that point, yes, that's when you probably do have.